Hello everyone and I welcome all of you to online study for you a complete placement solution. Friends, today in this video we are going to solve previous year question asked in TCS BPS examination. So if you are going to write TCS BPS exam, then you should and must go through this video. So this will be the final mock test on TCS BPS examination. Let us start with question number one. Friends, one important thing which I wanted to tell you. So in TCS examination, you will be getting on a screen calculator. Okay. That means most of the calculation you can do it on on a screen itself. Now, Amina spends 72% of her income. If her income increases by 29.2% and her expenditure increases by 25%, then her saving increases by. Now, so friends, if your option has been given in terms of percentage, then you can assume any value. So suppose Amina income is 100 rupees. Okay. Now, and what is the expenditure? Expenditure is 72%. That means 72 rupees. And what will be saving? See, if you are spending 72 rupees, then your saving will be nothing but 28. That means 100 minus 72 out of 100 rupees. You have spent 72. That means 28 rupees is saving. Okay. Now, if the income increases by 29.2%, so the reason I assume income is equals to 100, so that if there is 29.2% increase, you can directly say, sir, 129.2. You are free to assume any value if your options has been given in terms of percentage, but if you assume 100, then your problem will be very, very simple. That is what you need to learn. Many people will take X and then X, what 29.29% increment. Here only you will leave the question or you will not get that much of time. And her expenditure increases by 25%. Okay. So this is increased by 29.2%. And this particular is increased by 25%. 72 if we'll talk about 25%, it will be nothing but 25 by 100. That means 1 by 4. Now, it will calculate 1 by 4 of this. That means 18. So, from 72, right, it became 72 plus 18, which is nothing but 90. Which is nothing but 90. That means expenditure became 90. Then, her saving increases by. So, now, what is the saving? So, saving will be nothing but 129.2 minus 90. Clear? So this is 2, 9, and 3, right? So it will become 39.2. Now they're asking what is the increment in the saving? So earlier it was 28, and now it is 39.2, right? So if you want to calculate the increment, right? If you calculate the increment, then first find it out what is the difference. So it is 2, 9 minus 8 is 1 and 3 minus 11.2, right? Okay. Now divided by from where it is increased 28 into 100 because you have to calculate the percentage. So if you have to calculate percentage of profit, percentage of increment. So what is the increment? So it is nothing but 11.2 rupees. Okay. And from where it has increased 28 into 100. Now you have to use the on screen calculator. So let me see here is the calculator. Why to use, uh, you know, uh, Calculation, normal calculation when calculator is there. So 11.2 1, 1. into 100. So it will be equal to 1120 divided by 28. And you are getting your 40. So 40% 40 will become the correct answer for this particular problem, right? Okay. Now, friends, many of the students know. So they will think they will easily crack the exam of TCS BPS without doing anything. So that is where you will regret after your examination. And that's the reason, friends. So we have launched TCS BPS, a new pattern preparation kit for all stream with the basic concept so that you don't regret later. You should know the concepts. Okay. Then only you will be able to solve the question in the examination. Now also you can get it and study in two to three days, at least go through all the concepts. Okay. So the link will be given in description also. Subscribe to our YouTube channel so that when we are making the videos like TCS BPS actual questions, you will not miss any kind of update. Okay. Now, question number one is a simplification question. So six one by three plus bracket five five by six divided by two one by three minus two one by three 
of 7 1 by 2 plus 13 by 2. Okay. Now, so it's this one and this one you see both you can bring it together. So 3 6 are 18. 18 plus 1 will be 19 by 3 plus 13 2 are 26. 26 plus 1 will be 27 by 2. This is done. Okay. Plus now. Now this we will break it. So 6 5 are 30. 30 plus 5 is 35 by 6. This is inside the bracket. And then divided by 3 2 ja 6 plus 1 7 by 3 minus 3 2 ja 6 plus 1 7 by 3 again, right? So 3 2 ja 6 plus 1 7. Same thing. This is right. Okay. Into off means into 2 7 ja 14 plus 1 15 by 2, right? See, don't subtract this 7 by 3 and 7 by 3, which will become 0. No. When you are solving simplification question, you have to be very clear with the rule of board mass. Okay. So right now what I have done, see this two, I have just changed the position. So this I have brought it here, nothing else. Okay. And inside the bracket also, I have just, you know, written in the form of fraction. Okay. Now, now friends. So first thing we will have to solve it bracket, board mass bracket. Okay. Fine. So when I'm going to solve the bracket one, right? So 19 by three plus 27 by two plus. Okay. Now, so 35 by six. So if anything is division and if you wanted to write down in terms of multiplication, then what you have to do, you have to change the, you have to change the numerator and denominator here. This you already know, right? And this one, sir, three fives are, so five seven ja will be 35 by two. Clear? Okay. Then seven fives are and three twos are, okay, fine. So 19 by three plus 27 by two plus this will become. So 5 by 2 minus and 35 by 2. Okay, clear. Now 19 by 3 plus 27 by 2. And here you could see plus 5 by 2 minus 35 by 2. So this both you can add it. Okay. So 27 plus 5 will be what? 7 plus 5, 32. So 19 by 3 plus 32 by 2. I am doing a step by step. You might feel sir is doing it in a lengthy method. No. Step by step, I am doing so that things will be clear to you. Now, 19 by 3 minus, see, uh, 32 minus 35. So, it will be minus 3, right? It will be minus 3. So, minus 3 by 2. Now, this is what you have to solve. So, LCM will be 6, 3, 2, ja. So, 3, 2, ja means uh, 6 and 19 into 2 will be 38. 2, 3, ja means 9. So, it will be 27 by 6. 27 by 6 means 6, 4, ja, 24. So, it will be 3. That means you can write 6, okay, is your denominator and 6, 4, 24 and 24 plus 3 will be 27 by 6. Is there any option? So 6, 4, okay. So looks like this only, but we have done, I think, some mistake. So that we will see. So 18 minus 9 is 9. So this is nothing but 29 by 6. I'm sorry. So if you'll put 29 here, then we will be having 5. So six, uh, okay, six, four, five, six, four, ja, 24 plus five will be 29, right? So there was a small mistake here. So option B will become the correct answer four, five by six. Okay. So this you will be easily able to solve in the examination. I have done, I have taken multiple steps so that for you, the problem should be completely clear. Then the next question belongs from blood relation where we have to draw the tree blood relation tree okay now so they have given a has b means what a dollar b means what a at b means what a cross or a multiplication b is what which of the following expression shows that p is the paternal uncle of t i will take at least two options so that i can tell you how you have to draw so let us go with the option one here so p has q p has q means p is father of q so P is father of Q, right? So father you represent with plus sign. I mean any male. So any male you try to represent with plus sign and anywhere female you try to represent with minus sign. And between father and son, between father and daughter, right? So there should be one generation gap. So I am taking here one generation gap PQ, okay? Now, I mean, I'm showing using one line. Okay, fine. So P has Q means P is father of Q, okay? Then q dollar r q dollar r means q is mother of r q is mother of r so q will be mother of r q is mother of r right okay then r at s 
R at S means R is the son of S. Okay, so R will be the son of S. R will be the son of S. Okay, then definitely this both will be husband and wife because R is already son of Q and now R is son of S. That means both Q and S are married to each other. Okay, fine. Okay, and then S multiplication T or S star T. So S is the brother of T. So S will be the brother of T. S will be the brother of T. Now they're asking P is the paternal uncle. Paternal uncle means what? Your father brother. So your father, your father brother will be your paternal uncle, and your mother mother brother will be your maternal uncle. So T father is T father is whom? So T is nothing but I mean P is the father of T. So it's not uncle. So definitely this option A is eliminated from here. Okay. Now. Now we will go for the option two. Okay. So option two says, uh, let me choose some other uh, color here. P at Q. P at Q means P is the son of Q. So P is nothing but the son of Q, right? P at Q means P is son of Q. Then Q dollar R. Q dollar R means Q is mother of R. That means Q is mother of R. Okay. Q is mother of R. So that means P and R both are, both are what? Uh, brother, sister, you can say, or brothers, because the gender of R is not known. Then R has S. R has S means R is the father of S. R is the father of S. Okay, fine. Then S star T means S is the brother of T. That means S is the brother of T. Okay, now, so friends, T father is R and R brother is P. Your father brother is nothing but your paternal uncle. So here, P is a paternal uncle of T. Now, many of the students might tell, Sir, gender of T is not known. What, why you want the gender of T, you tell me, right? See, if you are male also, P is your paternal uncle. See, if I am a male also, my father brother will be my paternal uncle. If I am female also, my father brother will be my paternal uncle. So T gender is not required here. So option two will become the correct answer for this particular problem, okay? Now, now friends, so this problem I have written here, uh, because you might not be able to read this. Okay. But this is a very good question. So A can do a certain piece of work in 30 days. B is 25% more efficient than A. Now, this particular concept I have taught you in basics of percentage. If you'll go through this course, right? So in basics of percentage, if you'll go for this learning materials. Okay. So, okay. Uh, if you'll go for the videos. Uh, content okay so it is loading basically my net is little slow so all the concept has been covered in the basics itself here okay so b is 25 percent more than more efficient than a so you can directly write b is equals to 125 divided by 100 into a okay so you can directly write b will be equal to 125 by 100 into a if it is if it is x percent more if there is x percent profit so anything then add it to 100 add it to 100 and divide by 100 this is what i have taught you so b is 25 percent so add it to 100 100 plus 25 will be 20 125 divided by 100 now so 25 fives are 25 four jar. so basically we have got a equation of efficiency right so here i will write a and here i will write b here I will write efficiency and here I will write days. Some of you might not be able to understand because if you watch my time and work video, then only you will be able to get the concepts here. Okay, now, so A, I am assuming here 4, then B will automatically become 5. Sir, why you are doing that? Because, see, this is the equation which we have in terms of efficiency and you are free to assume any value. Now they are telling, okay, now they are telling, so A can do a certain work in 30 days. Okay. Now I have also taught you in time and work basics that your efficiency into days will be equal to work. Okay. In a simple question, if you can clean 10 chairs, okay. Efficiency means what means how much you can do. So if you can clean 10 chairs in a day, and if you have 10 days, then you will be able to clean. You will be able to work. 50 chairs, you'll be able to clean 50 chairs in 10 days, right? So total work. So 4 into 30, it will become 120. Now they're asking, B can complete two-thirds of the same working. 
So first calculate total work we got 120. You calculate two third. So sir, it is nothing but uh, 340 times. So it is nothing but 80. Okay, now. And who has to do this? So B. So they're asking B can complete. Efficiency. Efficiency means how much you can do. Like 10 chairs you can clean in a day. So B can do 5 work in a day. Total is 80. So it will be nothing but 16. So B can do 16 work. I mean B can complete that 2 by 3rd part of the same work in 16 days. And option B will become the correct answer. Right? So I hope you are understanding. And definitely some basics you might miss. The reason is friends. See. Everything, all the concepts cannot be covered in a single question, right? So for that, you need to go through the complete topic where we solve 10, 15 question. And that's the reason I'm telling you now also. So this particular course's link is given in description. And this will be also useful for other examination also. So do, no need to worry about that. Okay, you can get that. Okay. To cover a distance of, so to cover a distance of 172.8 kilometer, a man takes 2.4 hours. Okay, now. So, friends, here, distance will be equal to a speed into time. So, this formula, you have to keep it in your mind. Distance is 172.8. Speed is not given. Time is 2.4. So, a speed will become 172.8 divided by 2.4. Friends, even I will suggest you for a small calculation also, you use the calculator, right? When they are giving you the opportunity, then why don't, why you want to miss this? Okay, divided by 2.4. And now it will become 72. So we got the speed. So from here, we got the speed is equal to 72 kilometer per hour. Now the question is, in what time will he cover double the distance when his speed is increased by 25%? Okay, now. So right now his speed is 72 kilometer per hour. Okay, now. If you are increasing by 25%, 25% is what? 25 by 100. That means 1 by 4. Okay. So that means his speed if you increase by 1 fourth part. So 418 times. Okay. Now. So his speed is 72. And now if you increase by 25%, it will become 90. So his speed is 90 kilometer per hour. Now distance. So distance we are going to double. So 172.8 into 2. 2 8 is 16. 2, 2 is a 4 plus 1 is 5 and 34. Okay, now kilometer. Now we have to calculate time. So time will be equal to distance by speed. So 17, oh, sorry, uh, distance is 345.6 and the speed is 90. Now this you have to solve. So 345, 345.6 divided by 90. So it will be equal to 3.84. 3.84. Is there any option? Yes. Option B. And that will become your correct answer. Friends, I hope uh, this particular session was useful. See, in my all session, I wanted to give you some valuable uh, things so that it will be used for your examination. Okay. And rest, if you want to take the course, you take. Otherwise, if you don't want, don't take. Okay. But definitely, I don't want you to regret later. Right. Because of 500 rupees. If you miss the exam, if you don't clear, then definitely you will regret it later. And 500 rupees is not a big amount. And anyway, these courses will help you for other exams as well. Thank you. Take care and all the very, very best.